Welcome to the ILI Multimedia Lab Orientation. Our regular hours from week 1 to week 7 are Monday through Friday 7.45 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Note that we are not open on weekends. I am the lab supervisor, Evan Arnold. I am the only native speaker here in the lab. I'm from the USA and my lab assistants currently are Abdullah from Saudi Arabia, Nadia from China, Cindia from South Korea, and Alejandro from Venezuela. Most of them are actual ILI graduates and we try to keep students from different countries so that way if you need to ask a question in your own language you can do that if you don't know the English to properly ask. The ILI Multimedia Lab is of course here to help you learn English. Now like any place we've got a couple of rules here at the lab and each student must know and follow these lab rules. IELI lab rule number one. The IELI lab is for current IELI students only. If you'd like to use a computer go ahead and sit down and log in with your EUID and password. If you don't know or don't remember your EUID and password, ask a lab assistant and they'll be happy to help you. ILI lab rule number two. When you are finished using a computer, please remember to click the log off logo at the top of the screen. You'll see that icon and just know that you can double click that or go to the start menu and log off so that the computer will be ready for the next user. ILI lab rule number three. Now we want you to be able to work with other students around you but remember to speak quietly in the computer lab so that you don't disturb the people around you while they're trying to study. And when you're talking we want you to use your English while you're here. You are trying to learn English so take any opportunity you can to practice. ILI lab rule number four. And this one's important. Please do not use your cell phone in the lab. If you need to use your phone, please step outside the lab doors and you can have your conversation. This doesn't mean you need to turn off your phone or anything like that. Just if someone calls you, go ahead and step outside, have your conversation, and then just come right back. It's as easy, easy as that. ILI lab rule number five. Please do not bring food into the computer lab. However, you are welcome to bring your drink with you. Food leads to sticky hands and messy keyboards, but a drink is really not a mess at all. So please bring your coffee and your water in with you, and so you can enjoy it while you do your homework. IELI, lab rule number six. Remember, give your ID to a lab assistant when you borrow a dictionary. A lot of times they'll use this for your class and things like that. Just give it to them, we'll hold on to it, Take the dictionary to your test and then bring it right back and we'll give your ID back. And remember, of course, if you need any other help, please ask the lab assistants. ILI lab rule number seven. Don't worry, we're almost done. When you log off of a lab computer, you gotta be careful about any files that you have saved. Now we have a program called Deep Freeze and other places on campus use it, lab, labs use it as well. And what will happen is that it will actually delete your file. So be careful if you're gone too long and come back, or if there's a power outage, it's possible that you will lose what you've been working on. So please remember to back it up. Save it to a flash drive, use Google Drive, or even UNT's provided SkyDrive, or possibly Dropbox. You can also email it to yourself. Just do whatever you can every now and then to make sure you don't lose that research paper you've been working on for the last three hours. ILI lab rule number eight no pornography also we want to say about this be careful about opening website pages or links in email that you're not sure who sent it and you're not sure where they link to um, there could be slang that you don't understand so please be careful and be sure to ask somebody if you're not sure and of course Please follow all the lab rules to protect the lab and make it a good place to learn and study. 
Uh, unfortunately, sometimes we have students who cannot follow the rules and therefore they will not be allowed to use the lab. Here at UNT and IELI, we mean green. So help us save paper. We do have recycling bins in the lab for you to put your paper, and we also have trash cans for you to put other things. There's also recycled paper up there that will show you if you need to take notes for some reason. If you're not aware yet, IELI has an other website. And this one is just for ILI students as it has features that pertain to you while you're here, not before or after ILI. So one of our ILI's is, websites is the ILI Lab website, which you can get to from ili.unt.edu. And this will have resources that are online, links to resources that are available in the lab, um, helpful website links, list of test prep materials, ASC lectures list. Um, a lot of times your teachers will tell you what they want you to navigate on there, but go ahead and check it out and explore what's on there. Also is the ILI Today website, and that talks more about the news, which a lot of times we have our Facebook page, which I'll talk more about next. Um, we have the news on there. We have a weekly memo that you can access on Scribd. Uh, term calendar and then also a lot of times we will link to a class photo gallery on there as well so be sure to check those out and make sure you know how to navigate those the ILI website of course ILI has a Facebook page who doesn't have a Facebook page on here is a URL where you can find us or you can even search for UNT ILI and we have a page where we're gonna post all of our news upcoming events links to pictures, links to weekly memo videos, um, everything that you might want to know about things that are going on at ILI, we will post on there, so be sure to like us on it so you can follow us and all the events that are taking place. As mentioned before, you are also a UNT student, not just an ILI student. And part of that is you can use any UNT General Access Lab. So at the beginning we talked about our hours were only open Monday through Friday, but UNT has some labs, like at Willis Library, that are open 24-7. So in case your laptop breaks on you or your internet goes down, you always have a backup of a place to go where you can type it up and print out whatever material you're trying to work on. Um, anyways, here's the website where you can find the locations and the hours available. If you have any other questions, just be sure to come by and ask us, and we can help you find a place uh, where you can go that's nearby. Also, make sure you have your UNT ID card because they make you present it in their labs. And now we are going to talk about some other IELI lab materials. We're more than just computers, of course. We also have books and CDs and DVDs and other software in there and binders that we're going to talk about on these next pages. We have plenty of lab software for you to use to practice English. Now, you received a page like this, or it's a handout that you can print off, or you can just look at it in a PDF format, but let me just tell you a little bit about it real quick. You'll see on the left hand side of this of it is an icon, so that's what it will look like on the desktop when you go to use it in the lab. Um, it'll have the program name, like Tell Me More, Closed Factory, Pronunciation Power, Typing Web. Um, the location itself is where you can go to use it. So if it says Computer Lab, then it's only available in our Computer Lab or the ComWeb. If it's online, then you can use it anywhere you have internet access. The users talks about students, anyone, things like that. Um, and then the username and the password, those are things that you'll use to create those accounts, or they'll be created for you. And so you'd use your EUID and your student ID. And if it's blank, that means you can probably create whatever you want, or it does not even require you to enter a username or password. And then on the far right hand side is the purpose, like listening, speaking, vocab, grammar. Those are the skills that you can build by using this software. If you have any questions, just feel free to come to the lab, and the lab assistants will be happy to show you how to use the software. I mean, who doesn't have Microsoft Office 2013, right? Or at least Microsoft Office. But we just want to remind you that we have these software available for you to use in our lab. 
Of course, the ILI Multimedia Lab is more than just computers. We have additional resources available for you as well. We have over 100 DVDs, which can help you with speaking and, speaking and listening skills. We have level reader books divided up from level 1 to level 6, and they're great because they're adaptations of movies or other more difficult books made easy for your level, so they're not just kid books or picture books. Uh, we have the Jamestown series books, those deal with reading, as the main idea, other things in it, um, you know, character development, things like that. Six-way paragraph binders also deals with reading. Clear grammar binders, surprise grammar. Panorama binders, reading once again. We have reading for understanding cards, or as we call them, RFU cards, that also deal with reading, where you read a paragraph and answer some questions. And we also have multicultural cards that are very similar to the reading for understanding, that deal with um, understanding the main idea, It'll ask you questions about uh, the characters in it. Uh, what happened, things like that. We also have test prep materials for you. We have books that prepare you for the TOEFL IBT, uh, the GRE, and the GMAT. So be sure to come on by and ask us about our additional resources available for you. Well, learning English can also be fun, surprisingly. It doesn't mean you're just doing book work all the time. There's a lot of ways that you can learn English through media. I'm just going to talk about two of these. But before I even get into those, you can also listen to the radio, have the TV on, any of those things that you just have surround yourself with English conversation throughout the day is going to help you learn English quick, quicker. And a lot of times we can tell a difference between people who have friends that are native speakers and those who don't because they pick up on slang, they pick up on the way to tell jokes, all those things that make you sound more of a natural speaker are all about that. So two of the things, of course, we have issues with copyright here in America, so you have to be careful about just downloading uh, movies and TV shows. But we have some great options here that are really cheap for people. Um, Netflix is my favorite, and you can see the address, and it's $8.50 a month. There's also a free trial if you want to test it out for a month during a break. And you can just watch tons of American TV shows. Most of them are older. I mean, they do have some newer ones, just not the current season, but um, some great shows. I'd be happy to recommend some to you if you're curious about them, but what's great about that is you don't have to have a TV to watch it. Uh, you can watch it on your laptop. You can watch it on your iPhone, your Android phone, uh, Windows phone, all those things like that that we can watch it. Hulu is pretty much about the same. Um, if you go online, you can watch it free with ads in between. Uh, Netflix does not have any ads. And then when you pay eight fifty, that gives you more episodes, multiple seasons, but there's still, I think, a few ads in there. Also, Amazon Prime is another option that's not up here. And you can get free two-day shipping for your books that you need for classes at UNT. And you can also get, and you can also stream TV on different devices. So be sure to check those out, and I'll be happy to recommend TV or movies that, that I think you might like. So surely, after all the talking that I've been doing in this presentation so far, you don't have any questions, right? Well, you probably have a few questions. So feel free to email me, Evan Arnold, at evan.arnold at unt.edu. You can also come by my office. I'm going to be in Sycamore 224 at the back of the lab. So feel free to just come by and knock on the door, and you can ask a question, or you can just say hello. That's fine either way. I hope you enjoy your time here at ILI.